Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm excited that you're here because it's time for a haul. Before we get into this video, I wanna welcome everybody who's new here. Welcome to Park Avenue. If you haven't subscribed already, then check out some of my other content. I'm sure you're gonna find something you like. I have an Outfits of the Week playlist where I, every single Sunday I upload outfit ideas for work, for the weekend, for everything in between. So if you guys are looking for ideas, I have something for you. So hit that subscribe button and make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you guys turn on your notification bell so that way you don't miss any of my uploads. So let's get into this haul because I'm really excited to talk about these pieces. I haven't shown you guys all these pieces, but if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen the first two I'm gonna show you. And if you're not following me on Instagram, then make sure you follow me because I did a whole Instagram giveaway and a lot of you tuned in really late to that giveaway and you missed it. I gave away a $250 Sam Edelman gift card. And some of you after the fact came over there to Instagram and said, hey, how can I join the giveaway? And it was over. And I don't want you guys to miss things like that. So make sure you're checking out all my socials. I'll have the link to everywhere you can find me, Pinterest, uh, Instagram and of course you can visit my website and sign up for Park Avenue and actually next time I'm gonna be doing a giveaway I'll send out an email blast so if you're signed up for uh, my mailing list then you'll get that information too but make sure you check the description box because I'll have the links to everything and everywhere you can find me okay so the first couple pieces are the same <laughs> So this first piece is a dress from Topshop. I got it from Nordstrom actually, and I have it in this color, and then I also have it in black. And you guys absolutely loved it. And if you guys haven't seen it already, you can head over to my Instagram, but I'll pop in a picture. Now, the thing I love about this is that it's a pencil dress, and that's super flattering for curvy girls. You guys already know, I've talked a lot about that on my channel, the fact that pencil skirts and pencil dresses are like perfect. They're like universally flattering, but they look really, really great on curves. This is a basic like sweatshirt material. When you guys saw the photo that I posted on Instagram, or some of you, when you guys saw that photo, you were asking questions like, what's the fabric? Is it like a t-shirt fabric? Is it see-through? Is it thin? You wanted more details. So that's why I made sure to include it in this video because I wanted you to see the fabric up close. It's a basic sweatshirt material. It's not fleece lined or anything like that. This is actually what the inside looks like. It's not sheer or see-through. You can't see through it or anything like that. The back of it has a slit. There's a slit in the back. It's a really, really cute dress and very flattering. The thing that I thought was cool about it was the fact that it kind of bloused up at the top. It looked like it could have been two separate pieces or you're not sure, but I really like this. I went up a size in this because I just wanted to skim over my hips. I didn't want it to be too, too tight or too fitted. For things like for daytime wear, I don't like to do anything too tight or too fitted. Um, with pencil dresses because if I get like my true size then it does hug my hips and my curves too much and it, it just doesn't look flattering for me for like everyday wear it looks more like cocktail party like evening vibes and that's not what I'm going for obviously in the daytime so I want to put size in this but if that's not a concern for you then you could just get your true size and you should be fine but super comfortable super flattering and I just styled it up with a pair of sneakers I styled the gray the gray one up with a pair of sneakers and then the black one I was able to wear it with uh, the gray patent leather Zara boots that I know a lot of us have, but super cute, very easy to wear. The black one is a little bit uh, easier to elevate, like as far as wearing it with the heel and styling it up a little bit just because it's black. But the gray one, if you have like a sporty heel, you can do something with that. But I just decided to throw on a pair of sneakers and it was very cute. The next couple pieces that I got are from Banana Republic and they're this knit set that I absolutely love, I think it's gorgeous. They have it in so many other colors too. They have it in black, they have it in camel, and they have it in green. You guys saw the green one when I did the video with my mother when we styled um, similar, we styled different outfits but with the same pieces. I'll link that video on the cards if you wanna see the green knit set. But I got it in gray and I really love it. It's really, first of all, it's great to have a monochrome look because it's very flattering. But secondly, it's really easy and super chic. And I really like those kinds of looks because they're a no brainer, but you still look like a million bucks. Everybody wants that. I mean, who doesn't want to look like a million bucks when you didn't even have to think about it? And the quality is really great. They're cozy and comfortable. So you can wear them if you're lounging around at home or if you want to run out, you know, do some errands or whatever it is, they're really comfortable and they're perfect for like the weekend or like chill vibes. And I like it because the pieces are so interchangeable. So if you wanted to have like the full cardigan and top, 
you can do that or you can just switch out the cardigan and top and go with the hoodie it's really nice and if you wanted to you can switch the colors and like mix and match as well but i really like the monochrome i think it's the most flattering but these are really great interchangeable pieces you can do the top with jeans you got a lot of looks here so i think it's definitely worth the value and if you wait around for a sale banana republic does a lot of like 50 percent of select pieces or things like that so hopefully you guys can catch this on their uh, friends and family sale because everything was like 50% off site-wide. So I hope by the time this video goes up, they're still doing that sale because this is a great time. Black Friday's coming up. I know everybody's gonna be having sales. So make sure you guys like stay glued to the Banana Republic website. They always have really great things for work and the weekend. And this is a really, really great find. Now next up are a pair of jeans that I got recently from The Gap. These I did not think I was gonna like because the wash is a little bit, I don't know, maybe I'd call it a vintage wash. I think they call it vintage as well. Yeah, they call it vintage flare high rise. And I really love the rise on these. I actually tried on, this is a 32, which is a 14 regular. I went up a size in these because I wanted them to be loose. I actually went up two sizes originally, but they were just a little bit too big. And I know they were gonna loosen up, so they just wasn't gonna work out. So I went up to this size 14. And I'm glad I did because I know they are still going to loosen up, but I do have to get the waist taken in. It's a little bit big in the waist, but I'm gonna see how that goes because if it loosens up all over, it might like give me a vibe. <laughs> I might like that, so we'll see. But the way that it fits and the stretch on the jeans, the waist kind of collapses in even though it's a little bit big. So we'll see, I'm gonna wear it before I get them fixed and see how I feel about it. But I really like the wash, I didn't think I was going to because it slightly gives me acid wash, but not like all the way there. And I'm okay with that. I love that they are full length. You guys already know, like I've been looking for full length jeans for a very long time. It seems like nobody makes full length jeans anymore. I don't even know what's going on, but I really like these. They have slight distressing. They're gonna look super cute with flats. And the way that the length hits, I think it's gonna also look really good with the heel. So I can't wait to style these up for you. You're gonna see all these pieces styled again. I just wanted to show you guys everything that I got now because I know things tend to sell out and I don't want you guys to miss anything. And who isn't looking for a great pair of jeans? And I've been telling you guys for a long time about checking out The Gap because they always have really great sales and like everything is just really reasonably priced in there and they do really great denim. So check out The Gap. It has a really like good amount of stretch in this, very comfortable and the waist is nice and high. So that's very flattering. And it'll look really cute with like crop tops, like not super cropped, but like just cropped enough where you might see like a little sliver of belly or if the top just like exactly meets the jeans, that's really cute. So the next piece I wanna show you guys is this Argyle sweater from Halogen, which is a Nordstrom brand. Halogen actually really makes uh, great pieces. I have a couple of cardigans, they're like cashmere blend cardigans. Are, they're really cozy and comfy. I have them in quite a few colors, honestly, and I would recommend them. And actually, I'll link them in the description box if you guys wanna check them out because I saw recently that they had um, like black and I think gray. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna check the site and I'll link them for you guys because I know we're always looking for cardigans and I really highly recommend those. And if you've watched my channel for a while, then you've seen them styled in other videos, but I'll link them for you in the description box. So anyway, this sweater is like what I expect it to be. The quality is really nice. It feels really nice. And I thought when I first opened it, you know, like it looked like it was like that chenille material, which I'm not crazy about, but I thought that's what this was, was like, but it's not. So if you don't like that, then you know what I'm saying. But this is actually super soft and cozy. It's a nice, it has a nice weight to it, but it's not too heavy and too thick. It's definitely gonna be warm. It's really nice. And actually, let me see the blend because I didn't look to see what it was. It's 60, 66% acrylic, 31% nylon, and 3% spandex. It doesn't feel itchy or anything like that, even though it is synthetic materials, it's not itchy. And it felt really soft and like plush, so I like that about it. And the colors are really great. These are great neutrals and they're gonna go with so many things. But the idea behind this sweater was styling it with these tights. These are from also, these are also halogen, they're a Nordstrom brand, but they're a collaboration with blogger Atlanta Pacific. If you guys don't know uh, Atlanta Pacific, she is a blogger and she does really like bold, um, like colorful, like statement sort of looks. She does a lot of the monochrome, very cute, very chic looks. Anyway, she did a collaboration with Nordstrom and I think this is actually her last collaboration and I didn't, I've never gotten anything from her collaborations in the past. But this I thought was super cute. These tights, they have a really nice box print. 
and the colors are really great. So I'm thinking like maybe these jeans with maybe my, um, I don't know, my dad jeans and then these under it so you can see like the print peeking out or even just like a denim skirt with these. These are really great and I love tights. I know a lot of people don't like tights because they could be uncomfortable for some people, but I love tights. I think they're a great way to add a really fun statement to your outfits. They're, it's ve they're very easy to wear and just like another personality piece. So I definitely recommend these. I haven't tried them on yet, so I'll let you guys know and um, I'm definitely gonna style them up. So if they work out as far as the fit goes, I'm gonna style them up for you guys as well as all the other pieces that I've shown you. Now, next up, my little orange box. I actually already opened this, you guys, but I'm gonna open it for you guys on camera. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> It's my toiletry pouch. So this one is the toiletry 19, and I already have a toiletry 15. This is it right here, the little, the little baby. This is like the smallest one, and then this is the one size bigger, and then they do one size larger than this, which I think is like the 25. But happy to get this size, because sometimes you just got a little bit more to carry than what fits in here. Um, like when I carry my tote bag, I can throw a little bit more in here. Um, you can put a compact in here, some gloss, you know, whatever it is. It's really great for travel. And to be honest, these little babies really keep like everything organized. So if you like to have like everything in little compartments, then these are really great. You can wipe down the inside. I know a lot of people have these, so I'm sure you guys have seen these going around like in tons of videos, but highly recommend you can wipe down the inside. And then the outside is canvas, of course, so it's very durable and you can wipe down the outside as well. But I love these. I don't have any complaints about it. I have been loving my little one, and I did actually spill some lotion in here. I spilled lotion, and I think one of my lip glosses like leaked out, and I just easily wiped down the inside, and I had no problems with it. So, happy to get the next size up to fit just like a little bit more. And a lot of people do carry these as clutches. The biggest one, the uh, 25, I know a lot of people do carry it as a clutch, so if that's something you're interested in, I've seen people like add like chains, like bag chains to it, and wear it as like a little, um, you know, like a little pochette. And then you could just, you know, carry it as an evening bag if you wanted to. But I'm going to use it strictly as a toiletry pouch, like a catch-all cosmetics case. I just think they're super cute and very functional. So that's it for another haul, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments which piece was your favorite. Are you going to check out any of these pieces for yourself? And let me know if you guys want me to style any of these as well, because I do plan to eventually style them all. But if there's some you want to see sooner than others, then I'll make sure to include them in a future video. Maybe I'll even put it in Outfits of the Week. And stay tuned for Outfits of the Week this Sunday. And make sure your notification bells are turned on. If you're new here, I do Outfits of the Week every single Sunday. And I don't want you guys to miss out on any of my videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. And if you haven't seen already, I have an Outfits of the Week playlist. If you're not subscribed, then you want to check out... Hold on. Okay. We're starting over. Oh, oh, oh.